Okay, AP Lit, welcome back from spring break. Uh, this is for Tuesday, April 7th. Um, I'll start by kind of just uh, commenting on our previous essays that we've been doing the last couple weeks. They're, they're great and getting better. Um, I'm really happy with them. We're really doing a good job of you know, explaining things a little more. Not only do we need to explain our own idea and the evidence we're using, but then we need to tie that back to your overall thesis. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to provide you a template uh, for tomorrow to, to follow uh, with the essay. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, and hopefully we can use that on um, the AP exam. So hopefully they have been sending you some emails to kind of let you know what's going on there. Um, it will be just one probably prose, not probably, it will be a prose passage, uh, you know, from a short story or a novel and, um, and that's it. You got, you got one shot at it. So it'll be online and you'll be able to, uh, you know, upload it and whatnot. And then eventually they'll send it to me. I don't know if they're grading it or I'm grading it or what. Um, but they haven't really told me that yet, so I don't know. Speaking of grading, I did, you know, grade all your mock exam, uh, essays, uh, you know, across the board, our averages were, were, were three or better, <clears throat> which is a good thing. I don't know if it's just because I was grading them, uh, but I did my best. It was my first time and, and, uh, like I said, I was, I was happy with them for the most part. Uh, but one thing I, I, I kind of forgot or didn't realize, but if you want to try to get a four uh, in row B, so row, row A is the thesis, all right, that argues something that has a, a foci in there. Row B is, you know, the meat of your essay. So in order to get a four on that, you got to have two foci, not just one. And keep in mind, you know, on the mock exam, they gave you two or three things to think about. On, on the new exam, they're just going to say literary elements or techniques, okay? So it'll, it'll you know, be hopefully the, the five that we've been focusing on and then a few more. So that's why I'm forcing you for this story and, and next week's story and next week's story. After that, I'm going to give you the foci I want you to use, okay? So for this one, you got to choose two of the three here. So either the character is changed or unchanged, um, the relationship between characters and or specific details that help explain kind of what's going on in the plot. All right. So our materials are going to be um, the short story called The Story of an Hour. It should be on the same document as A and P, which we did a couple weeks ago. Okay, and then next week's story, uh, uh, A Clean, Well-Lighted Place, is also on that same document. Okay, so it's on Google Classroom, so scroll down and do that. Both stories are very, very short. They're very depressing, I'm sorry, <laughs> but they're short. Uh, and that's why I chose them, because I'm trying to match up what you're going to see on the exam. Um, in a couple of weeks, I got two or three more passages from previous exams, and we're going to use those. But let's keep going with our short stories since they are so short. Okay, so your assignment is to read the story of an hour. Uh, again, it's like two pages long and then obviously read it again, hopefully. And uh, as you're reading, uh, choose two of those three foci and try to find at least one piece of evidence for each. If not two, that would be better. Okay, but I'm just asking for one for each. Um, you know, and type that up and put the whole quote, please just don't put dot, dot, dot in between it or anything. So I can kind of see what you're, what you're, uh, thinking about arguing. Okay. And, uh, I think we've done the multiple thesis statements enough at this point. So just, just come up with one thesis statement that includes both of your foci and maybe hints at what you plan to argue. Okay. So obviously that's going to depend on, on your foci and how you're going to argue that. So remember, you're not telling me what happened. You're telling me how the author is using these techniques to make his or her point. Okay, we got to get away from explaining what's happening. Okay, you're all smart people. You can read and tell me what happened, but how is it working? How is it working? 
okay and make sure that we're keeping it to just the text itself don't bring in the real world okay many of you did that on your mock essays and it, and it hurts you because it's it's really irrelevant so everything needs to be explained in in relation to the text okay right in front of you the outside world does not exist okay stay within the parameters of the story okay or the passage or whatever it is all right so again we're doing a great job i'm super happy with these things you guys are using evidence well um and let's just continue with that okay so don't write the essay yet like i said i'm going to come up with a very specific template that i hope that we can do over the next five weeks um, because the the exam is wednesday may 13th which is the day before we're supposedly done with school so uh, we got a long way to go i was really hoping to kind of switch back to poetry uh, i had some really cool stuff too and then i find out after working on it that it's going to be a prose essay so i apologize you know for all these stories but man we should be really good at this by now so let's continue with that so as always if you got any questions let me know if you're missing some stuff get it in tell me what it is so i can get you those points and you know we'll we'll continue from there all right see you all tomorrow